I'm here at the University of Oslo, where we have an installation running at the moment called Strings Online. It's for the NIME 2020 conference. And I thought I should I just briefly present the installation, uh, how it looks like, and um, how it was built. So let's uh, go and have a look. And the installation is located in the mocap lab that's in here. Is there? Right. There are six guitars. They are hanging, being suspended from, from the ceiling. So they can rotate around a little bit. So each of the guitar has a um, microcontroller on board. It's a small Bella computer um, with the sensor interface as well. And we have made our own uh, custom built board on top of that for connecting the sensors uh, that we have in front here, which contains a microphone, um, some light, also an accelerometer that we don't use right now for this setup. Uh, so the main idea is that the guitars can listen through that microphone and they can then play back sound. And the sound will be played out of the computer here, down this cable here, and out on an actuator in the back, which is sitting there, which creates resonance in the guitar body. So that's how the guitar sounds like. Yeah, these are self-playing guitars um, of uh, the installation. So uh, each uh, of them is autonomously uh, activated by uh, listening uh, to, to the pitches coming from uh, Dr. Squiggles. And um, they all have kind of similar um, um, audio program in it, but uh, th these are all um, um, functioning in a, in a non-centralized way. So, for instance, this can get activated through this Dr. Squiggle, whereas the the other one on the on the other end may not uh, may not uh, uh, be actu activated. So, um, each of the guitars is equipped with with a bella, and there is a pure data patch patch uh, inside them. And there, the patch is based on uh, on a chord progression that is uh, also based on a, on a set of pitches that come from uh, from from Doctor Squiggles because, like as you can see, Doctor Squiggles have some constant set of pitches, you know, based on this uh, this this Glockenspiel. So, in terms of this harmonic um, harmony, so we 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 built it that way. Um, and the patch is uh, is constructed in, in in two parts. One part is more drone sounds that uh, you can uh, hear um, uh, during the installation, and the other one is the the the, the single pitches that are pretty much random. Um, So I built these three Dr. Squiggles robots, and they are tapping robots, so they tap on whatever they're sitting on, and I have them sitting on these glockenspiels, so uh, whenever they tap, they make a nice little sound. And I've been using them to study how machines can collaborate together to make music. So you have a situation like this where you have a bunch of autonomous musical agents that are all generating music and also listening and responding to what they hear and adjusting what they play based on what they hear. Um, then you can ask questions like how do new musical ideas get introduced into the ensemble and how do they propagate through the ensemble? Or how does a robot know when it should be quiet? Or under what conditions will the ensemble reach equilibrium in the sense that then all of the robots are either playing the same thing or each robot is just repeating the same thing over and over and over again without changing? Um, and what types of events will disturb that equilibrium?
each one of these has an embedded computer inside of it. Um, although, you know, we weren't really using that for this installation. Um, these are all connected now to the internet. And when someone presses a button on the web interface that Chi Chow built, uh, you, the corresponding one of these robots will eject one of its solenoids and play a note. My part was designing this web interface for controlling Doc Squiggles uh, remotely. As you can see on this web page, there are three buttons in different uh, colors. Each of them can control uh, one Doc Squiggles respectively. And there is a chat window here, which you can discuss with us. And as a user, you can access this web page uh, at any place in the world and once so as you can see my mobile phone is not connecting to the same Wi-Fi so it's uh, using the uh, cellular service so once I click a button and the desktop machine in our lab will uh, get notice, notified and then send a MIDI signal to the Dr. Squiggle As you can see, when I click the button, a dog squiggle will play a random uh, MIDI pitch with random uh, velocity. And as you can tell, the latency uh, is quite small and at least acceptable, acceptable for me. This is because we use the Firebase uh, database. So every time the user clicks the button, um, the Firebase uh, database will be will uh, get that information and then send that MIDI information to our uh, desktop PC. The original plan was to bring the guitars and robots to uh, Birmingham to the conference and, and set it up there so that people could interact with them uh, physically in space. That wasn't possible, so we have set up a streaming solution instead where it's possible to control the robots from a distance and that will also then indirectly control the guitars. This is really an interesting setup. Um, uh, we're using a 3DO uh, binaural microphone, uh, which is a great sounding omnidirectional mic. Um, the mic is connected to a sound mixer in the control room and then to a Blackmagic um, Terranus Mini web presenter and then to finally uh, finally into a PC. In terms of uh, the video, we uh, have a GoPro camera here um, to capture the, the close shot of Dr. Squiggles to, to see the, the actual leg works of the actuators. Um, the GoPro is connected uh, to uh, Blackmagic uh, web presenter and then to PC and then we are also using two Sony video cameras here. Uh, which is firstly captured by the Sony switches in, inside the control room. Yeah, so this is the, the sound mixer that we're using to capture the audio. And this is a Blackmagic um, web presenter that um, combines all the signals. And this is the Atem Mini that we use to um, get the signals from the Sony switcher and then to the PC. And uh, all these inputs are captured by um, OBS and um, the, 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 by using uh, virtual uh, video and audio routings inside the PC, um, we were able to send out the uh, outputs of OBS to Zoom, and, uh, and then we stream the images and the audio you know, uh, through Zoom webinar.